back. Can you say something a little bit more about this idea of uh, a girl wearing a wedding, white wedding dress? The idea behind was also had to do with um, a phenomenon that was happening a lot in Cameroon, which is changing now at that moment, and in, main, in some other uh, African countries, where people would use internet to connect with people in Europe in order to have a visa, actually, to use one's face in order to have a visa. That's through marriage and everything, just uh, for the sake of being in Europe, not uh, for any other reason. And I was in a bit shocked by this, because it, was, it meant that most of young girls were actually giving up they, were, uh, they, they would stop to dream. We had to look for this the entire day, find oh, somewhere. Oh, no. Because there were colors, uh, like uh, pale yellow, that I didn't want. So I was looking for white or light pink. Then we found this one somewhere around 8 o'clock in the night. Sandaga or? No, uh, Medina. Ashi Medina. So it's, it's, it's dealing with that, with this little girl which, uh, who is, uh, in a way, trained by family and people around uh, to, to get married and, and, and have something, not to, to be herself and to, uh, to work hard, to, to change her life, uh, everything. Because someone is there. Uh, it's like it used to be in Europe with this, uh, the prince who would come and, and and take the young. And since we're talking here a lot about fabrics, about tissues, about um, uh, uh, yeah, interwoven things, uh, I was thinking of this project, which is uh, a little girl dressed in a wedding dress, and she's skipping a rope. And I, I would like uh, to have three semi-professional cameras. It's going to be an installation where I'm going to use three beamers uh, projected to, onto a screen which is made out of, um, at the top you would have a triangle form with transparent uh, materials, would act like a screen, and inside you have uh, like a tubular uh, form also. Ideally, the, 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 in, in the inside, the, the three screens should come very close to each other to form the entire image. Uh, I know the transparent part is going to play, so you would have something which is like not real and real at the same time. I can only like a day for him, Salam Bakke. Dr. Salibu, the Fijilji, the water spring, Salu. I took a good thing and said, No, we need to have the life at the spring, Salu. I said, Then Linda, no, then what is for the I can now believe that I would like to do things that look like you. And uh, I'm, I'm also interested in this idea of, of a makeshift, of taking what you have and, and making use of it. And uh, I think it's very much a street culture that um, is found, I'm sure we can find it in Dakar, where people do not, cannot afford to buy a Nike, they, they make it. This is a, a photo of a, of a kid in Rwanda. Is, um, he didn't have money for a real Nike, so we just like wrote him down like because he could not afford this. So what are you doing to these shoes? These are the originals, okay. and I'm making, I want them to be exactly the same like those ones. symbols Et tu penses ça, ça c'est bien ça Tu penses c'est joli Oui. Mais ça c'est joli. Ça c'est plus joli, non Oui. Mais ça c'est aussi joli. Tu, tu mettrais ça aussi Oui. Oui. Um, and during our walks at the beach with Stella, 
um, we found some fabric and I, I came up with the idea that's so great that I can find something and make something out of the fabric. So we thought about patchworking something and before I wanted to have it made and have something really high end, super nice uh, fabric which are all over the place here. And um, it's almost too much to just find the right stuff because we researched on it as well. So I thought I take the the fabric I find on the beach and make a make a patchwork with it. We spoke about the material yesterday briefly um, and where it's coming from, but you know I'm interested. I'm more. I'm more interested. I'm not interested in this question of where the material is coming from, and I think it's it's almost like a a chicken and egg question. But I'm more interested in what the egg can do or what the chicken can produce. The definition of, of textile is that it is a flexible material which is comprised of a network of natural or artificial fibers often referred to as thread or yarn. We invited, of course, people from fashion, from fashion design and from very, very different fields of fashion design. What we experience now is that fashion and dress is uh, always a mess has always a message, always a political statement or a statement of, um, of, of consciousness, of uh, politics and so on. Also you can say like with um, stereotypes that I'm testing out how they fit or how they don't fit. Uh, I found this costume in a, in a shopping mall in Germany. And it was advertised like an African for 49.95 uh, Euro. D-Marks. Und ähm, ja, das habe ich mir damals gekauft. Und jetzt habe ich mir gedacht, nämlich bringe ich das mal mit und äh, schaue, was ich hier damit anfangen kann, ob man hier damit was machen kann. Und ähm, ja, jetzt mache ich ein paar Experimente dazu wie sich das so im Alltag einfügt. But the funny thing is that I have the feeling that the people here don't identify at all with this costume. It's, it's a totally alien thing coming from somewhere, you know. Because um, I looked, I was with you, mm -hmm. and I think some people think of circles, Walt Disney, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but also deep down, um, so the image of Africa, which we also have, mm -hmm. you know, of the countryside, of the village, mm -hmm. of the warrior, mm -hmm. you know, so. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Because some people were actually, you know, even appreciative. Right? Mm -hmm. so. Some people were really scared. <laughs> some people were scared. Oh, like this. Ich versuche eben so gut wie es geht, mich zu assimilieren und ähm, schaue, wie, wie die Leute hier eben so rumlaufen, lasse mich von denen beraten, wie ich mich anziehen oder stylen soll. Ähm, erwartet habe ich mir in dem Sinn, kann man sagen, nichts. Ich habe das war mehr so eine Versuchsanordnung. Ich begebe mich in eine Umgebung und versuche mich zu assimilieren und versuche eben dann wie ein Afrikaner auszusehen. Hey, wo ist der? Hey, Et bien, joli dégueu. Et bien, il est là-bas.